Charles Williams was not only a central member of the Inklings, to my mind, he's also a central piece in the history of 20th century British literature. In his early years, he was associated with Edwardian poets like Robert Bridges and Alice Mennell. In his middle years, he was a close friend of T.S. Eliot. Uh, he helped to inspire W.H. Auden's conversion to Christianity. He knew Dylan Thomas. Towards the end of his life, he was drinking in the Oxford pubs with Philip Larkin and Kingsley Amis. His literary career spans a huge range of personalities and a big range of time. He's a very important figure. I also happen to believe that he was a major poet. His two books of Arthurian poems were described by C.S. Lewis as matchless in their poetic richness amongst 20th century works. I think he was forgotten because he died in the last weeks of World War II. The news of his death was swamped by public events, and his books went out of print mainly because of the post-war paper shortage. I think it's high time that he was rediscovered. Charles Williams was probably the least typical member of the Inklings. He wasn't an ordinary Oxford product by any means. He came from a poor background. He'd had to drop out of university through family poverty. He'd worked his way up at the Oxford University Press, beginning as a humble proofreader and becoming a senior editor. He'd also learned to lecture by giving evening classes for the um, University of London Extension system. And so when he arrived at Oxford, he was both an outsider and a deeply learned and expert lecturer. It was Lewis and Tolkien who invited Williams to lecture for the Oxford English faculty. Um, and he gave his first lecture on a snowy morning in 1940 in the Divinity School, um, arriving in a slate blue business suit with no gown because he didn't have a degree, with C.S. Lewis on one side and J.R.R. Tolkien on the other, and they both sat in the front row while he delivered his lecture. Um, the first lecture, Lewis said, well, I think he's going to hold his audience. The second lecture, um, afterwards, Lewis pronounced it was the most important event which had taken place in that beautiful carved room since the Renaissance.